Hey there and welcome back to another video. For this one, I'll be showing you guys the quick way that I like to create amazing vector icons with Midjourney, specifically Midjourney version 5.1. So as always, make sure that you have a Midjourney bot access, whether it's in a server or you have a private DM conversation with the Midjourney bot. Next, we're going to start creating some AI generated images. For this one, we're going to make some fancy golden retriever icons. Oh, aren't they the cutest? Well, now that we have our fancy English golden retriever icons, let's check out our mid journey settings to make sure that we're on the right track. So type in forward slash settings, and we're going to be using specifically the mid journey model version 5.1. So we're going to ask the mid journey model 5.1 to make some more fancy English Golden Retriever icons. Here are some examples of the icons that we wish to make and use for our own use. They look absolutely perfect and I can't wait to use these icons for different things, whether they're profile pictures or even badges and stickers on our text applications. So once you're happy with the selection of these icons, go ahead and upscale the photo that you wish to use. As you can see, we've chosen this pet set of Golden Retriever icons to use. Next, we'll be using the website Vectorizer.ai in order to turn these AI-generated Golden Retriever images into a beautiful vector in full color. Simply drag the image into the Vectorizer.ai website in order to start the vectoring process. Just let it do its magic, and once it's done, as you can see, we've gone from a more original, realistic looking image, image into a vectorized image, as you can see here. You can also do a little bit of editing on the side, but once you're happy with all these settings, feel free to explore them by the way, simply click on the download button to download your vectored image. And voila, yet again, as you can see, we have a beautiful vectored image made with Midjourney version 5.1. And that's really all there is to creating vector icons using Midjourney. If you learned something new from this video, don't forget to leave a like. And as always, subscribe to the channel for more content just like this one. Thanks so much for watching and we'll definitely see you all in the next one.